Hi again, just ride seven. Uh, quick little trick here. Uh, keep your CRF. Uh, anyone actually uh, with a battery or power source cooler. Uh, I'm gonna ride uh, this weekend on the poker run. Uh, it's in honor of one of our rider fallen riders. So this is a simple little trick I did. You can uh, get these fans from any computer. <laughs> I just uh, got this off of uh, one of my computers that fried. And all I did was I, I zip tied it. And if you look really closely there, uh, the power source is 12 volt, 3 amps. Uh, I'm pretty sure your bike can put out 12 volts at a minimum of 0.3 amps. And I just zip tied it to the existing tabs they have there. And it's pretty stable. You got three wires coming out of the original um, fan. One of them controls fan speed that the computer controls, but you don't need that. Just run your, your hot and your ground. I ran it, you can, you can run it any multitude of ways, but what I did was I just made it simple. I ran it to my, um, don't forget to get a, a fuse there. Uh, you're gonna need that just in case you get some kind of shortage you get protection so you don't fry your um bike uh then what i did was i ran my hot going to my hot and then my negative coming out negative going out from the fan then they're gonna come right here and then this is gonna be my switch then once i connect my final grounds together right here with my switch, voila, you get the fan. Uh, be it, it's not gonna be the greatest fan in the world. It's gonna be one of the cheapest. Mine uh, came out with the fuse I got on eBay. I got five of them for about five bucks. And the switch is kind of tricky. You wanna get a um, waterproof type of switch. And with the CRFs, it's really, really neat. They've got a hole right there in your uh, shroud and I went down to the local um, local hardware store and I got myself a rubber grommet right there because this switch right here um, kind of went right through the hole it was a perfect fit but you press it on and it's on and you press it on again and it's off so um, that will work for me gonna have a big ride this weekend so I uh, want to try to keep my bike a little bit cooler I'll let you know how it works um, everything cost me about five bucks uh, well yeah because I got five uh, fuses for uh, five dollars and the switch was two dollars and thirty nine cents the grommets I bought at City Mill for uh, about 13 cents each and 11 cents for the other one so um yeah it'll work for me i bought the switch it kind of looks like this those are the grommets i've got a couple extra so that if the switch fails i've got uh, my backup uh, rubber grommet and a um, little washer there on the backing side because you're going to need something to uh, hold the back of it so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to hook it all up and I'll show you the finished product. I'm gonna be running the number 66. Uh, v indicates uh, veteran, I'm a, I'm a kind of old guy. And I'm gonna be riding in honor of Kurt Caselli who passed away in 2013 at the Baja. All right guys, and my friend Rick Salinas, you guys know about him, he broke his leg, he's out. Uh, broke his tib and his fib this past uh, Loretta Lynn. Anyway, aloha. And uh, happy trails, man.